Okay, uh, today I'm gonna talk about Ajax, which is almost the most important concept in JavaScript. We come to the source code folder and uh, Ajax, netting.ajax.js, uh, server. So you can see it joining here, right? So before we talk about Ajax, we need to talk about single threading. So what is single thread? JavaScript is single threaded. Single thread it means at one time or at one moment, JavaScript is only be able to handle one task. Why? Why JavaScript is uh, created as a single threaded programming language? Because uh, JavaScript is initially created for handling elements on the web page. Imagine there is a scenario that you delete an uh, element on the web page. At the same time, you modify the same element on the web page. Then the application going to crash. So based on this logic, JavaScript is single threaded. It forces you to only make to only do one task at, at one time. So based on this logic, JavaScript is single threaded. So there are two types of functions based on this logic. So one is synchronous and asynchronous. So what is synchronous function or execution? And what is asynchronous function or execution? Synchronous function is gonna be executed right away after you call this function. Asynchronous function gonna wait some time, some uncertain, um, the time is uncertain. When all the synchronous, fu synchronous function finished, then the asynchronous function are gonna be executed. For example, we have one, two, three. You can see here, one, two, three. So asynchronous uh, function has to be executed one by one, one by one. Uh, now we created an asynchronous function manually. We know that there is a static method and under a window object is called set 10 out. This function accept two argument function and a time. We set one second here. So it is an async function. So you can see here, number one, number three, execute one by one. When the all synchronized function finished, then asynchronous function will be picked up from another queue to be executed like this. Finally, it gives us number two. So suppose we uh, don't set up any time. We set up the time as zero, let's see still one, three, and two, because as long as this is a asynchronous function, it gonna be executed after all synchronized function finished. So still the order is one, three, and two, right? Even you said it is zero, right? So this is the difference between async and sync. No, it doesn't mean that you set up the time as zero, then it would just execute one by one. No, because there are different types of functions. So what is Ajax? Ajax is just async function. It is used to, and purpose of async, to update part of your page with out refreshing 
whole page. Ajax is almost the biggest improvement of JavaScript. It give you a very, it is very, very useful. So some time, some content, uh, lo loading some content will take a lot more time than others. So suppose you open your YouTube, uh, like you open youtube.com, right? So some CSS file, your user information, uh, not user information, uh, some free works, or some uh, you know the, the regular stuff it, that's all synchronous a synchronous function right but as for those contents so video um, like music those contents will take some time to load because you need to uh, re request some data from server it's just gonna take some time then you use ajax or it's especially the uh, especially when you read the comments on the YouTube, you will find the comments will be updated one by one or part by part, right? That, that is a Ajax, right? It, it makes you, it helps you to update part of your page without refreshing the whole page. Imagine, um, so without Ajax, when you read the comments, all comments will load just uh, at one time at the beginning. Suppose there is video with solden comments, right? It, it just takes too much resource to load that comments and you don't really need that, right? So the comments part, comment section should be updated uh, partially, not all of them, right? We don't need to be uh, load, loaded just at the beginning, right? So now you know what is Ajax, uh, what the purpose of Ajax. I've give you a, a, a example of how Ajax works. So uh, imagine there is a URL. We create it. So Ajax is based on the H, uh, XML HTTP instance or uh, XML HTTP uh, property or method right? or a class. So uh, let on this class and uh, now we have ACP now we want to send a request so it's open we send this request by get method and URL this is uh, like uh, this is this is just a standard. We use it use use HTTP in this way. Um, if you know how it works internally, it is good to do. But if you don't know the then if you don't know that, it doesn't matter. Send send the request. So we want to listen to server. So we have HTML. So this is a this is a function. So dot state change function. Same time that status okay, 200. 200 means the connection is successful, right? So there will be.
be some uh, let's return an object all the return values are JSON uh, it is a JavaScript object notation right so we want to pass that into object so save uh, yeah this is empty so you can find some uh, sample JSON data sample JSON API which returns some data for you on the internet right here we just copy the URL on this page and you can see the data is just like this so we paste the URL see here save it again as you can see there is a response Right, uh, not this part. Yeah, this is a response. So, because these are this part are uh, this part is uh, is a standard part. Every use it, we just use it in this way. So now we want to make a function URL. Yeah, we just uh, put that into a uh, into the Ajax function, and this this right here, uh, you can just uh, you know customize uh, your own callback function. Uh, let's see, we wanna do something on this object, right? Either display it or manipulate the data in the object, right? So we need a callback function. So this is the Ajax, right? This is how it works inside, wait. Yeah, this is how it works internally because we, we just always reuse that. So we put that into the Ajax function. So this is the Ajax, right? Uh, <coughs> okay. Uh, let's call this Ajax. So Ajax URL. Um, the re the callback function. We, we don't want to do anything. We just want to print right, the return object or return data. Save. As you can see, same thing, right? Say same. Exactly same thing. So this is how Ajax works. And at last, we want to introduce you a callback hell. Based on because JS is a single thread, so there are two pet two types of function: synchronous and asynchronous. Because there is two type of, two types of functions, and based on this, so Ajax is just a typical asynchronous function, and. Uh, we use we use normally we use Ajax to request some data um, from server, right? And after the data has been returned from server, we want to do something on this data, either display it or manipulate the data or do something else. So suppose I create three file right here. It's, it's called it, this one called uh, callback hell a dot js inside of this file only one line of data which is a json object as you can see here json object right so this is b and b this is c and c right there are all json object in in, in this file so back to the callback hell so right here, we want to call the Ajax function and uh, we want to do res. We want to display the data returned. And this URL, we put st static folder uh, matching the call. Yes. 
So Ajax not only be able to retrieve data from the server, he, only, he also can be able to uh, get some data from local file or local resource, right? Let's see. Yeah, A, M, A, right? So JSON data has been retrieved and uh, based on this callback function, uh, we parse that into object and uh, finally we display it as object, right? So suppose uh, have another Ajax function inside of Ajax. We have another Ajax inside of this Ajax. And this is B. This is C. A and a B and a C, right? So what does this mean? Imagine there is a scenario. This is not a callback hell A. This is a country. So imagine a scenario that you select a country on the web map set. You 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 select a country from drop down menu, right? Data has been returned. What data? It should be cities, right? And after that you select the city uh, you know based on the country you chose you chose right and you select the city again and some data has been retrieved what data some uh, uh, some uh, 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 you select province right here and finally you select the city right so based on some, like you choose Canada Right, all the province provinces has been returned. Then you choose one. You select uh, from select uh, drop down menu. You select uh, Alberta province, and then the cities in the Alberta has been retrieved. And uh, you, you know, yeah, just like this. There are many many similar scenario like this. Uh, so you want to retrieve the data and uh, do something, and you just retrieve the data again based on the this. Uh, this data and you just retrieve data again based on what you have got and you just retrieve data again based on you, what you have got so finally you will find there is Ajax function inside of another Ajax inside of another Ajax finally gonna cause a callback hell uh, we call it hell because it's very hard to maintain your code or debug your code right so we don't want to do that so this is the callback hill um, next class i'm going to introduce the ways uh, in the es6 that uh, how we handle the callback hill this is pretty much everything about ajax today